Hey guys, uh, about to show you something that will save you some time. It's called typing keystroke handling. One of the guys that works at uh, FL Studio helped me figure this out because sometimes it's hard to search for things when you don't really know the name of them. So this is actually going to be this little box. is It's like looks like a little keyboard or a, you know calculator. It's going to be located at the top of your synthesizer. So I'm going to input Serum here, and you'll see right here it's highlighted. It's white, which means it's on. And when you're working on sound design, so I'm just pressing Q right now the, uh, on my keyboard. So I have typing on, which I forgot what that, right here, uh, typing the keyboard. So that means if I hit the letter Q, a note's going to come out, middle C, we can see over here. So now when I turn a knob and I want to work on sound design, so if I start detuning the synth, and Q stops becoming available. So really, this button, it says in the top left, it allows the plugin to handle keystrokes before the host does. So that just means if you turn it off, uh, the plugin Q, and now when I twist the knob, I can keep previewing sounds as I kind of work uh, around, and I can keep doing sound design, and I don't have to keep, you know, switching back to Serum. And basically, this allows you to keep working on things in real time. Whereas before, every time you press Q, uh, FL Studio would kind of stop you from working on the current synth you're working on. So a way to make sure that stays saved is you just go into here in the processing, turn auto save on, click save, and now every time I load in an instance of Serum, it will start without the allow the plugin to handle keystrokes before the host does on. And that's pretty much it, so hope this helps. Uh, one really good instance I use this for is when I'm working on sound design. If I have like a chord, for example, um, and I put it in the pl playlist. So I want to be able to kind of keep jumping back and forth between like tweaking knobs. I think I'm on the wrong one. There we go. And now I can keep pressing spacebar and kind of listening what it sounds like. Whereas before, when this was on, if every time I hit spacebar, it kind of stops. It just doesn't work. So that's it. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching.